In this video, how to convert an email to a PDF An email sent by a user, will be converted into a PDF and uploaded to select a document library. Create automated cloud flow. Choose the trigger when a new email arrived to set in user ID. We'll add action to export the email's content as an EML file using the message ID. Select new step export email, v2. We'll add an action that will create a file in OneDrive or another temp to convert the newly generated file from a message file to a PDF. We will add an action dot to convert file. In the file input, choose it from creating a file. Choose PDF as the target PDF file. Dot we'll do is add an to the specified SharePoint location for the take create file from SharePoint. This last step will add an action that will remove the document from the temporary storage. Delete file. Let's send an email to our email using Outlook from a different user ID as a test. Flow run successfully. Additionally, we can see that the email is converted to a PDF file and uploaded to the specific place. In this video, Power Automate sometimes to pick the name text of the lookup field. We assign directly it will give you the GID so we have do tasks. We want to fetch source campaign which is a look first code displays text slash name. Underscore campaign at underscore value at odata.community.display.v1.formatted value, direct marketing. Second code displays field name. Underscore third code displays target table name. Underscore campaign at underscore value at microsoft.dynamics.crm.lookup logical name, campaign. Fourth code displays type of field and fifth code E311B856C3B5A8B200. We assign campaign to a field at displays git. We want to display the name of a lookup field. If the lookup field name is campaign at the question mark body underscore campaign at underscore value at odata.community.display.v1. Formatted value. So this will give you the text of lookup field. Hope this helped. In this video, we can see how to convert a decimal number into a whole number using Power Automate. Log in to Power Automate using make.powerautomate.com Create an automated cloud flow using when an item is created in enter site address and list name in the trigger. Select the compose action and give the input. In Compose 2 give this expression and outputs Compose, as an input. Select Send an Email, V2, action and give the inputs as shown below. Save and run test the flow by creating the item in your SharePoint list. I had given the input decimal number in the field mobile no. And the output of the flow was whole number. In this video, we'll look at how to build a flow that, when an email appears in a shared mailbox, sends a notification to Microsoft Teams. The steps below should be followed to make this flow, first create an automated cloud flow. Next to begin the flow, choose a trigger, such as when a new email arrives in a shared mailbox, and then select create. Next add the mail-in folder as inbox. Then, when an email arrives on Outlook, we'll add an action that notifies the Microsoft Teams. Choose post message in a chat or channel by clicking plus new step. Next set the properties like below. Our flow is now ready for use. So simply save the flow and manually test it. We'll send an email from any user to our Outlook for testing purposes. It is clear that it will let the user know when an email has come. In this video, we'll show how to use Power Automate to convert a string with JSON content into a JSON object. Instead of the JSON array, we use the JSON object. Create a string variable and set its initial value to JSON object. I've already initialized it. You might obtain this value from the API response during complex flows. Add a compose step with inputs. JSON variable string JSON. Use the JSON object that is produced by this compose phase. I'm storing the compose result to object variable. Next run the flow to see the output. If the goal is to extract the data from the JSON. To extract the data using the schema, use parse JSON. Use the example JSON payload to generate the schema. I'm using the string variable directly in a parse JSON. Variables will be generated by this parse JSON output in line with what is specified in the schema. To compose step, I am using the variable produced by the parse JSON. Run the flow and see the output. 